Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm going to do another one of those random dips in the Flashpoint videos again because why not? This is going to be the first video on this I've done since the release of 8.0 and I haven't actually like changed anything in, I haven't actually added any new games, I haven't done any pending fixes, this is basically just flat basic 8.0 ultimate but in um, but in like yeah, just in my master copy of the, of the thing so Anyway, just for you people who haven't seen this series before and don't know the rules, the rules are I get to pick any one of these six random games. The adult games will be turned off because I don't want to get sued off YouTube. And I get to ignore any... Why do you talk to me every single time I start one of these goddamn videos up? Go away. Um, the... I'm allowed to re-roll twice in order to avoid a line of six of, like, say, Escape the Room games or something along those lines, right? With that said, I don't usually go with the first set of random picks that are on there, and this is basically going to be the same thing, despite the fact that we already had a re-roll, but we're just going to roll up a fresh set and see what we get. We've got Casita House, Paint Panther, Nami Dress Up 3, Tamagotchi Gotchi Bounce, Green and Black, and Escape Haunted School. Let's go with Green and Black on this one, I think. Okay, so it's a compilation of games from different Flash game makers. Let's try one of them. Flips. Okay. Is this just Lights Out? No, it's not lights out, it's slightly different. So you gotta do all of these. Yeah, I understand the point. Didn't mean to drag the thing there, but okay. Is that it? Yeah, that seems that that seems to be it on for this one. Oh, we've got a time limit counter down there. Okay, I assume that lets us go back to the main menu if it runs out. You scored 52. Fair enough. Let's go back to the menu and uh, try the Mercenary. Powered by Mode 7 engine. This is going to be interesting. This isn't Mode 7. This is practically a... Oh, well, I mean, it does have the flatness of it all. Do I have to take out those two before more spawn on the road ahead of me, right? I appear to be stuck. That's great! That's really great! Uh, what else is there that we've got? We've got... Smoky Chimney. No, that thing Ooh la la. It's a quiz game, is it? Start the quiz. You must not finish last, okay. I don't know music. This is going to go really badly. Okay. Oh, look, something I might actually do well at. What color are Lynx trousers? Um, actually, that's a good question. What color are his trousers? I'm pretty sure they're green along with the rest of his... No, of course they were brown. Who is I.I.'s enemy in Super... Are you fucking kidding me? Um, who do you play? Carl Johnson, obviously. What is the name of the dinosaur that's gone? Uh, that would be Chaos... Stealth and Tactics! Super Mario 64. Wow, okay. 
that wouldn't even it would probably be different here than it would be in um like the United States or whatever because I I'm in Australia we have like European you times. All right, I think we're seeing enough of this. What else have we got? Uh, Redoll. Oh, it's one of these games. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with that. And what is the fifth one? Shoot the UFOs. This legitimately looks like something from the um, uh, Bike Camp uh, collection that we've got. That might actually come up on the collection someday, and if it does, I'm definitely gonna have to play it. This does look very early though. Oh, no freaking kidding. Holy shizwizzle. What's this music from? There's no way. <laughs> okay, that gave me a laugh. Worth it. Let's reset the line. Staries, Staries, Stars. I I've got no idea. Round the clock. Batman and Superman Adventures. That game's not great. I'm not going to do that. Dice Mover, Madagascar 3 Spot, The Difference, and Inner Murato Peacock Escape. That's an Escape the Room game. I'm going to assume Round the Clock is also an Escape the Room game. So the only choice here is Staries and Dice Mover. And Dice Mover looks Japanese. We always know these are going to be a little bit weird. So let's do that. Oh, no. Oh, it's, oh, it's this bloody puzzle. Except the controls are a bit weird because it's... um. It's also using Pac-Man music. Fantastic. A uh, good question. Where the hell is the like the dice supposed to go? Oh, there we go. Right, those are just blocks that are actively in the way to stop us from getting this done. All right. Yeah, I played a lot of Devil Dice back in the day, and I absolutely sucked at it. So having this control scheme be as it is is really strange. But I think we get the idea of that one. Really weird that it has the um, bloody Pac-Man noise. You probably couldn't hear it over my goddamn clicky keyboard, but I can't really plug any more USB devices in right now. So we're just going to reset the line again. We've got a Japanese game. Small Boy Factory Escape 3. Oh, dear. Uh, Spin Climb. A Japanese game. I'm pretty sure that's one of Moe's Escape the Room games again. Futurama Bender Racer and Order. Order is the only one there that looks even remotely interesting. So let's go with... Oh, it's one of these. Okay. This guy makes a bunch of these, like, um, little interactive films where if you move your mouse around, it does, like, different video clips depending on how you move the mouse. So let me guess. The idea is I have to, like, click on these things to make them do stuff. And he'll get up to, like, change them. Oh, nice. Like, you can see how the mouse is moving a bit weirdly here. That's because the mouse is actually uh, being presented by the game. Because if I move it out of the window, you can see that it's moving a lot smoother. So, yes. What the hell is the sound playing in the background? What the hell, man? So I could have made him drink something else there. Bloody Virgin Mary in the background? What's the point? I know that he's got like some sort of message to send out with some of these, but... 
Software Service Pedjeveš mašine, elektroinstalacija, okay. električne šporete i ostalih uređaja u domaćinstvu. Popravke sa garancijom, penzionerima... This guy put a fair amount of effort into this, um, into this newspaper. That's actually kind of cool. I'll give him credit for this. But what the hell are these pictures supposed to be? We got... Is that a nuclear missile or a mushroom? Yeah, I don't know. That's just freaking strange. We're not, we're not doing that. Click on the damn thank you. Right, moving on. Sliding box. Chris Angel Saw game. Guy versus the Wicked and Nefair... That's a Fantasia dress-up game. A Escape the Room game about a bomb. And you have to defecate upon, upon King Boomy Bowl. Well, with a name like that, who can say no? Probably King Boomy Bowl now that I think about it. Oh, it's a Rotendo. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. This is like a parody of you have to burn the rope, isn't it? It is. Indeed it is. What? Is this meant to be like a political parody? I don't think it's a human right to shit on someone's head. Alright, I'm back. I had to restart the computer. I apologize for the jump cut. So, considering that I had to restart Flashpoint along with the computer, I do now have a fresh set of random picks in front of me. So, let's pick from one of them instead, shall we? Uh, Crystal Balls Hunter, 3 Car Monte Carlo, B Boxing, Flash Atkins, Fish World, and Toon Escape Library. I think we're going to go with Flash Atkins. Use the cursor keys to run and jump like a hero. Okay. Basic platforming, got it. Uh, well, okay, apparently there's like a huge collision box on that table. Uh, what is up with this game's controls? It, it feels like you can't jump unless you're walking. Oh, and you freeze when you're in the middle of the air. Okay, someone's clearly not like developed very many platform games. They don't know that this is a tr this is like atrocious platforming controls. Especially when you can't really like make precision jumps because of how this all works. Hit the decks. Okay. The controls aren't very pleasant, I must admit, just cuz like, I can hover in the air if I just do that, which is not right. You shouldn't- you shouldn't be able to do that at all. You got a time limit down at the bottom right, which makes working out these controls a little bit miserable. They, they, they've coded the platforming wrong, that's the problem with it. You can feel it immediately, because you should not be able to hover in the air on a platformer by rapidly tapping- Can I- can I just- yeah, I can rapidly tap right and just like float down like I'm Princess Peach or something, that's just silly.
Oh, okay. The points down the bottom are the amount of, like, um, points you earn from getting to the end with time left remaining. Although I do appear to be hearing different songs from... I assume this is Atkins? I don't know who Atkins is. I assume it's some kind of alternative rock. Band? Man? Possibly? Both? You know how these things go, like Luca Torelli's Rhapsody and Rhapsody of Fire. Sometimes they can be different in that sort of sense. And then I guess if I hit play game, no score, but yeah, max lives. Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. Why can I not click anything today? God damn. Alright, back up, back home. White Pigeon Forest Escape, Find HQ Nashville, Motile Evidence, Creeper World 3... Ice Cream Parlor, and I know that's a... Oh, to spot the difference, this game, not Escape the Room game, but... Yeah, I think we're going to re-roll this line. Like, Creeper World 3 would be neat, but it's the HTML version, not the Flash version. So, I think we'll wait for the Flash version to come up. Summon the Hero, Forever Steve, Gold the Ball, a SpongeBob game, Bird Blast, and a HTML5 game of some kind that's in Japanese. Uh, I think we'll go with Forever Steve on this one. Hey, it's Armor Games. It might actually be good. This looks familiar. Oh, that's kind of neat. It, it hurts, no shit. How does if I drop on this? If I, yeah, but if I... Okay, okay, so how the hell do I get up there in the first place? I assume I make this guy a platform here, jump onto it, then jump off, then... If I drop him, he drops on the cube, and I can walk across and jump over that, and... Okay. Yeah, I think we get the point. Pretty basic platformer, looks okay, but like nothing that's too out of the ordinary for that one. Alright, so what do we got? We got Genie World, we got Frogger, we got Haystack, Haystacks? Yeah, okay, that's an A. Uh, Batman's Gotham Dark Knight Total Blackout, The Great Teddy Graham's Hunt, and Planet Basher. Definitely gonna have to go with Planet Basher on this one. Ah, uh, it's one of these kinds of games. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. Uh, at least I start with some, um, decent cash. No, oh, it's slightly different. Kind of like Peggle, how you have to accurately aim your shots and then... Then you combine that with the... Uh, upgrade system that all of these games have. Okay. Oh, and the, the magnet puts them closer together so you can do this. Okay. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. You have to click two, uh, you have to collect 200 stars on a single mission. Okay. The music sounds kind of out of place though, I gotta admit.
So, so, so if you put a planet in, what happens? I'm not sure. So what happens if I hit the planet directly? What happens if I hit the planet directly and actually... What happens if I hit the planet directly? Thank you. It bounces off. Okay, so it is a little bit more like Peggle than I was expecting. You know, you know what? Not bad. Not terrible. Good five minute distraction. I got nothing wrong with that. Let's reset the line, shall we? Uh, double life. Christmas reindeer escape. Dress up Azalea. Beach view room escape. Babar's painting game and desert caveman rescue. That's a re-roll, I think. Cannoniac Launcher 2, PSP Fish Commercial, Thomas Timberwolf, Gun Rocks, Once Upon a Time in Gibson City, Wake Up the Mermaid, and Escape the Abandoned City. So, I think we're going to have to go with Gun Rocks on this one. English isn't great. So it's one of these sorts of games where you just explore around, shoot enemies, and find resources, huh? Oh, hi. No, my extraordinary friend. Who says that? <laughs> Who the fuck says that? You, you won't... Oh. Use the flamethrower to reach uh, areas that have been melted by ice. This, this makes perfect sense, I suppose. Nothing interesting over here, okay. I wonder why they feel the need to advertise more Gun Rocks games while you're playing a Gun Rocks game. And that isn't a robot, that's an alien. Bloody hell, when you see them being attacked by robots, at least you could do us the decency of, like, keeping them as robots. Alright, what's down here? Macca's Mansion, who for some reason has a bloody spike pit on one side of an entranceway. At least, at least do the full Monty, man. Come on. Not even anything in here except, oh, there's a door here. With Alien. Uh, explosive Barrel, I'm guessing? You have to be really close to make use of that, um... Okay, yeah, the 9mm is a lot better. And that is an exclusive power, a barrel. You picked up extra power for 15 seconds. What is even the point of coming this way? I can't see anything I can interact with, so that's not great. More explosive barrels, a... A... Soda machine... Something that looks like you'd see some... It looks like the edgier kind of thing you'd see on Robot Wars. Uh, can't go this way. There's nothing lying around for me to pick up as far as I can tell, so that was just kind of a waste of time. And look, more enemies. Let's blow ourselves up. That only did 10 damage to me! Okay, uh, damage economy. Not particularly balanced. At least I don't think so, anyway. Max house. There's a there's a mall up that way apparently. Let's go see what's in the mall. Got a park over there. Uh, I suppose we can come through this. Thankfully, the ammo and the flamethrower slowly regenerates. Flamethrower does fuck all to the robots. That's interesting. I may have just clicked on the yeah. I did. Let's just close that. I just did it again! Nothing in the boxes, which is 
Always a shame. These kind of survival games are always better when you can break things like boxes in order to get resources out of them. What's this? It's a save game point. Oh, you can't actually break these. You get cola. I don't know what cola does, but my health is back up to full, so I assume it's a health potion. I'm done. That's not particularly great. Uh, duck, think outside the flock. Soccer room escape. Poker solitaire. Mesa, Misa, how to cook mice miso. I don't know. First day frenzy from the office and balls away. I think we'll go with duck. Oh, it's a Barbonte game. With classical music in it. Uh, we'll start a new game, I guess. Hmm. Oh, it's one of these, is it? It's, um... Barbonte tends to put together a lot of these games, which is which are just like miniature puzzle comp- uh, uh, miniature puzzle compilations. So I'm guessing this is what this is. Think outside the flock. I assume that's going to be the um, the main thing telling you about all these puzzles. But yeah, I know Bob Bonte. He's a... Oh, I see. Okay. But yeah, I, I know Bob Bonte. I've played a few of his games before. They're all usually pretty good. That usually interesting puzzle. Oh, look, it's an actual lights out puzzle. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't particularly hard, but well. All right, biggest the smallest. I oh no, smallest the biggest. We'll start with that one down there. Why is it always the one in the bottom right? Maybe I just got lucky. It's funny how it's called Think Outside the Flock when there is a bunch of, like, puzzles in this that I completely lost the duck there. It's funny how it's called Think Outside the Flock when it's like, um... Um, you, you're very clearly thinking inside, like, the general box that that's a reference to as a phrase. So... Let me guess, smallest to biggest again? Yeah, alright. I think we've seen enough. Not another- it's not terrible. It's another just decent five minute distraction. Oh, I curated that one! Astral Alliance! Um... Well, screw it, nothing else looks particularly great here, why not? Uh... We'll, we'll just go straight for the campaign, why not? Protect your starbase. Earn as much money as you can. Spend your money wisely. No money, no game. Destroy the enemy. Use the WASD keys to move around. Click the left mouse button. To, okay, no, it all looks pretty simple. So we've got to live for six minutes and we've got to destroy some ships. Uh, put all these guys together. Can I do a... Yeah, I can do a click and drag. Yeah, I curated this, so I should know how to play it. What's wrong with me? Uh, okay. The first thing I'm going to want to do is buy a new harvester. Just to get myself some faster cash inflow. I know that those four ships there will probably be enough to hold off pretty much anything that um, comes at me in the first couple of waves. So, this should go fine. Let 
Where's the harvester? Is it at, like actually doing anything? Uh, oh yeah, it's off. It's off mining. Okay, that's fine. Let's select these guys and be ready for the um, enemy onslaught. We've got some fleet commands there. That's nice. Uh, okay, you guys just pull up off to here. No, you pull off to there. I got to right click to deselect. Okay. Uh, how are we doing? Let's rebuild those fighters that we just lost. Three. Uh. Looks like I don't have an option to repair them, which is a little bit disappointing. But... Let's get a heavy fighter out there too, just to be safe, huh? So we should be a bit better equipped, for now. Uh, what direction are they going to come in from this time? Same direction, that'll do. You, just, you guys just stack up there. They'll deal with this shit, and... Uh, we'll decide how to spend the rest of our uh, well-earned money. Okay, they just re they return to their um, point of origin as soon as they're done. That's nice. Let's get another harvester. Is there anything I can build? Like, I, I can see the ability to sell something here, but do I have the option to, like, build anything? I can change the rally point of stuff, which is nice. I think I'll change the rally point to be about here. And uh, might as well build a couple more fighters. Enemy hyperspace jump detected. They're coming from a different direction this time. That one with no health is going to die, like, immediately. That's just kind of how it's going to work, I think. Uh, we'll repair this. Whatever it is, it looks like some kind of turret. Can I build another turret? Uh, not entirely sure how. I'm guessing that... Oh, purchase buildings. Uh... Yeah, give me another uh, laser turret off to this part of the base. And another one here too, why not? This is going to take a fair bit more power, but at least it'll protect the, um, at least it'll protect the base a bit better. It'd be nice if I had more individual control over everything. I mean, I could micromanage these fighters, but I don't really see the point. Let's build some, let's build some more while we're waiting for the next wave to jump in. There's my fingers cracking. Looking pretty good. Except for that gigantic fleet. Oh dear. Thank god I built those extra turrets. Alright, we lived. So let's just build some more fighters. The next fleet's going to take a while to come in, which makes me worried a little bit. What do I have available to me? Uh, yeah, we'll build another heavy, heavy fighter. We'll spend the rest on regular fighters and we'll hope everyone can live through this. We should be able to make it through just fine. I assume there's more to this, like maybe research trees or something like that. Might be more information in the uh, tutorial, which I skipped. Because tutorials are never fun to go through on something like this. Alright, so where are they going to come from next? We'll just get our guys out ahead of the fray. This way. Three directions! Never mind! Oh well. Uh, 
actually. You all be defensive back around here. Let them come to you and just swarm them. Alright. Fair enough. Well, I don't think we need to do much more than that. This game did actually used to have, like, ranked multiplayer as well, which is kind of neat, but unfortunately there ain't going to be much we can do about that. We do also appear to have the ability to buy coins, which is not great. I assume that's going to be, um, something that might need to be hacked in. Uh, notably, this game is actually from, um, the guy who made Warzone Tower Defense. That's how I found out about it. All right, let's move on to the next set. Endless War 7. Dude, where's my pants? Shit snake. Mr. Lal the Detective. Strategy Defense 3. And what the hell is this meant to be? That's very obviously a Gundam fin on his head, but... You know what? I'm, I'm curious. It has to be this one. It's Pinball. Uh, ball? Oh, there it goes. What the hell? Okay! Never mind. Uh. Nah, nah, I played it. We have to refresh the line. Okay. Big League Bash, Virtual Graffiti, Pyramid Adventures, although it's Pyramid Adventure in the logo there, Flight of a Pig Part 2, Break and Lovers Reunion. I think we'll go with Pyramid Adventure, but if it turns out to be an Escape the Room game, I think we're just gonna Another refresh the line. Although it's from free online, online games, so it's probably not going to be a Escape the Room game. Ooh, he's got a gun. Interesting. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like a Metal Slug ripoff. Uh, not even close! Uh, closer to Robotron 2084. Oh, I see. So the grenade turns them back into humans? Interesting. Completely missed that grenade throw. There we go. Yeah, Smash TV, Robotron-ish. But with a kind of unique mechanic. It doesn't handle the best. The, the gun doesn't feel the best, that's for sure. And maybe you have the ability to throw your grenade a little bit too quick, although I imagine if this is anything like any of the arcade games it's very clearly taken some inspiration from, that's probably going to... Uh, the pace is probably going to speed up, there's probably going to be more mummies, so... It probably means that... There's, um... It probably means it's gonna be really useful to have a grenade that recharges that fast. Oh god. Oh, whoops. There we go. The grenade goes out really quick. Like, it... It seriously makes, like, a massive jump. Like, as soon as you hit the button. So it's kind of hard to precisely aim. Although, considering that this is probably meant to be inspired by games like Smash TV, I imagine that's actually the point, so it kind of works. It would be nice to have, like, a live system for the people as well, so you can't just, like, endlessly go back and forth forever. 
between the, um, between having, like, whoa! What the hell is this meant to be? Okay, so the grenade does actually destroy them, so we need to actually be, like, using the grenade here. Or at least it makes them run away. Oh, there's a, there's a meter on the side of, like, the, um, the rooms up the top there. I imagine once I fill that up... Yeah, there we go. Now, yeah, you know what? That's that's all right. I don't feel the need to play anymore. That that's actually pretty good. I'll, I'll give that one a thumbs up personally. It's a neat idea. It's got some cool influences, and it actually plays all right. Not fantastically, but like you know, for a flash game. Like, is there a date on this? Another game from FreeOnlineGames.com. There's not, but. Yeah, that, that, that's actually okay. You, you get an alright from me. I would have actually played that a fair bit back in the day. Alright, what do we got? We got Pumpkin Bash, Toothpick GP2, Robot Bros, Night Study Room Objects, Alchemy Swap, and Dress Up Game. I think we're going to get a Toothpick on this one. Got to get at least one Shockwave game in there. I should probably um, check the volume on this as well. No sound yet. Oh, no, there's the sound. How low is it? Pretty low. Let's turn that up a bit. Why is the default name Boobs? I'm guessing I've played this already and it's remembering something from it. But, man, that's freaking weird. Alright, level one. Desert Disaster. Ooh. The frame rate is really low for some reason. Uh, oh, space bar. Oh, that's a turbo. Are these the aliens I have to splatter? Yeah, those are the aliens I have to splatter. But it hasn't given me any points for it. Interesting. Uh, whoop. Come on, there we go. Too bad Charlie got the last toothpick. Okay, so it is a race. So let's actually try this properly. Is that bird meant to be... No, I don't think that bird is meant to be Charlie. I don't know if this is like a... Um... Is this meant to be like a... A licensed game of some kind? If it is, I've never heard of it. The car's a bit rough to handle, but it's nothing that isn't, like, too challenging. Oh god, there's ice physics now. Okay, maybe I stand correct on that one. Well, there's, there's the, um... Well, it's a coin, but you assume that's meant to be, like, a toothpick. Oh, and this is just gonna be an out-and-out -out maze, isn't it? At least the game doesn't have, like, ridiculous, like, collision physics for when you run into walls. Because that would be really frustrating to deal with. Well, there's the coin. I assume that it's going to loop around, but slightly harder. Nope, that's the entire game. Okay, not great. Not really worth the effort. Uh, let's reset the line again. Brazil Slingo. x Day Escape 1. Lock and Roll. Frozen Slay. The, break the Beacon Hill. The Orphanage. 
Guns of Anarchy and Mirror Isles, which is very clearly a um, puzzle script game. Those are never particularly interesting. So I think we're going with Lock and Roll this time. Okay, this is a relatively new game because they've uh, they've got a ad there to go download it on iTunes. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Rules and tips. So you have to get combinations. Some of them will be cleared, some of them won't be. Okay. Oh, and you get a joker every time you fill that meter out. So that's how they get you, um... So that's how they, um, let you, like, clear certain things out. Interesting. Okay, nothing wrong with that. That would probably be a good distraction on uh, in the era of 2048 and 3s. Alright, let's move on. We got a Japanese game which looks freaking weird. Uh, dress up tutorial, word web, escape from luxury house, odd ducks, and bungalow house escape. I guess we'll go with word web. Oh, it's one of these, is it? <laughs> what does it tell you about my bloody, uh, my bloody anything when my first two words are gore and rape? <laughs> Uh, that's not a bad, that's not a good sign at all. That's not a good sign at all. Uh, let's go for something a little bit less. Uh... Yay, it has my favorite word. Okay, yeah, I think we get what that's meant to be. Not, not a bad implementation of it, although the controls were a little oversensitive. Uh, let's see, Looney Tunes Crazy Cash, Escape from Tavern, Dead Frontier Night 1, ooh. Midnight Hunter, Cash Quest, and Diamond Digger. Dead Frontier Night 1 is supposed to be pretty good. I think this is a choose your own adventure game, actually. We'll see how well I do. Let's go. No, this is actually a shooty game. Okay. Oh, it's a zombies ripoff. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Am I thinking of something else? I'm thinking of a different game that's like a choose your own adventure. I'm thinking of the Sagittarian, aren't I? Which is the choose your own adventure zombie survival game.
It looks nice. Like, I appreciate the flash of the muzzle lighting up the entire room. I don't think that's how it would work in real life, but... It's not bad. By any means. Can I, like, board this up? Can I close the door? <laughs> like, why, why would I keep the door open? What's wrong with me? Uh, yeah, you know what these games are like. They never really get particularly interesting until later on in their waves. So we're just going to leave that one alone. Sienna Shot, Johnny Knoxville the Ringer, Realms of Idol, Flight of the Bumblebee, Aquarius, and Can You Escape to New Year's? I think we're going to go with this Johnny Knoxville game. What's this about? Ah, uh, it's one of these, is it? Your left arrow key, use your spacebar to jump. If you see a fellow athlete fall, hold down C key on your keyboard to cheer him on to get up and you get extra points. That's kind of nice. Like, imagine that. The controls are kind of laggy, man. Of these caricatures anyway that looks nothing like Johnny Knoxville so I have no idea who, who those guys are supposed to be oh it's a similar sort of thing all right yeah that's that's enough of that we all know what those games are like we're getting pretty close to the time limit so I think we'll do two more and then that'll be the end of this video nothing particularly great has come up today although I gotta admit I did enjoy Pyramid Adventure more than I expected to happy mood kissing bacterion I think that's a Jewish game, regular show all nighter, creaky, and a Japanese game. Let's do Bacterion. We haven't done a Japanese game, a, a, Ju a Japanese, a Jewish game, and a Java game. We'll <laughs> walk into a yard. Okay, uh, Bacterion, 1999. Interesting. Uh, how's the sound on it? Let's just keep that turned up. What do we do? Is it an asteroids? Oh, great. Yeah, I think I've played a game similar to this before. I do appreciate the old vector style um, art in this, but yeah. The frame rate really doesn't help it out here. You know, cells are six, so I assume the idea is that we just gotta try and defend it from all of this crap. Why do we have another cell? Whoop, I just got shot. What do they do to the cells? Ah, uh, okay. Right, so we gotta stop them from taking the cells, defender style. Fair enough. Very simple, but these sorts of, uh, these sorts of games usually just thrive on that kind of simplicity. I appreciate that respawning takes a while, so that if you lose a cell, you kind of have to get used to the fact that you're probably going to uh, need to take one out. So, it looks like the green cells, uh, they fly in and come straight at you, and they can't actually steal a cell until they've hit you. Interesting concept. So I, I guess there's a way to keep the enemy variety up. What the hell are you supposed to do about cells that are uh, that leave the area though? Ooh. I'm guessing you have to shoot these cells so that they um they get reflected back towards the um. Oh no, you don't. They get reflected back towards the middle, so that you can keep them. Yeah, I see what's- uh, no, you can't shoot the cells. But you just- So what happens when they just, like, leave the playfield entirely? You just lose them. I appreciate that you've got infinite lives, though. I do think having lives in this sort of game would be a bit over the top, in terms of things that you would have to worry about managing. 
But that said, though, I'm probably about to lose. I've only got two. I've only got one cell left, and it's all the way on the edge of the field there. So if even one just yeah, like if that guy's yeah, there we go. Not not bad. Not terrible. Not 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 bad at all, honestly. Last game, uh, Disney Create, Gingerbread Painter, Kid and Maker, a Japanese game that looks weird, Barnville Massacre, Monkey Metric, and Rescue Blade Bermuda Triangle. That one is an interesting one, but you know, honestly, I'm more interested in Monkey Metric. What the hell is a title like that about? Well, it's by Joey Betts, so it's probably pretty good. And the Super Flash Brothers. Oh, it's one of these games, isn't it? Where if you step on... Oh no, it's a Soka Band clone! That's even worse! Oh man, that's disappointing. I don't like Soka Band very much, so... Especially with these controls. These these bloody uh, directional controls change every bloody game that tries to use isometric controls, and I'm willing to bet that there's no way to actually change this. Oh, controls. Nope, you can't change the direction that the keys move in. That's great. And let me guess. Uh, no, it's slightly different. What happens if we go to um, the third one? What's the third one got for us? Okay, it isn't just Soga Band, it's got some uh, more interesting puzzles as well. Do I get to move on to the next level without having to... Oh, it's still got some Psycho Band puzzles. Alright. We'll do one more, just because I hate those sorts of games, and I don't think it'd be fair to leave off on that one. Uh... I'm just going to re-roll that. I'm not even going to bother reading them out. Interlocked, King Kong Escape, Sushi Oishi, Click -a Lick, Spherical Wave Interactive Demo, and Superhero Kid Escape. I'm going to go with Interlocked. It's another Armour Games game. Can I skip that? I can. Show me what the game's like. Let's just do this real quick. Oh, I've played this before. I'll switch to pool using space, so... Yeah, we just do that to get all the blocks out. Oh dear, I appear to have broken it. Well, that's a good sign. Isn't it impressive how often I can manage to break this sort of shit? I go on to puzzle three instead. This one seems to be yeah, puzzle three. Okay. Let's see. This is from the same people that made bloody Portal the Flash version, which is kind of neat.
Oh, that's nice. You get a little hint system. Uh, let's see. Into the sky! It's too bad you can't swap between the two tools by like right clicking. That would make this process a hell of a lot faster. At least if you were playing entirely on mouse and you didn't have like a hand on the keyboard. Like I'm trying to avoid so that I don't have to uh, make you listen to all the clicking that my keyboard does whenever I press anything on it. So what does the hint have to say on this one? Shapes often look different from the outside. What a weird concept. So I'm guessing we pull this di down? Let's try this from a different angle. Uh, no, I think we've had enough of that. We've pretty much hit the time limit. So that was a look at some more Flashpoint games. Some of them were cool. Some of them weren't. I really did like that Pyramid Adventure. I keep going back to that one. But yeah, I might have to add that to one of my personal favorites. Because that's actually kind of a neat concept. Well executed. So there we go. I was expecting a Metal Slug ripoff. I got a decent arcade game out of it. And there are a few other good ones there in there as well. Although the one where you shit on a guy is... Not exactly something I was expecting to play today. Anyway, this has been Blue Maxima, and I will see you all next time.